welcome students to another experiment in electricity now in this experiment we will be aiming to find out an unknown resistance now for this i will be taking you across a bridge obviously it's not going to be a hovered bridge it's going to be a meter bridge now this is a meter bridge that we will be using to understand the basic principle behind this experiment it is very necessary to first understand the equivalent of the circuit now let us see the wheatstone bridge equivalent of the same circuit drawn earlier this resistance x is the one which we want to determine this is the resistance r which can be taken to be a known resistance from the resistance box the lower two resistances are actually a part of the wire ab which is taken from the meter bridge in other words a c b itself forms the full 1 meter length of the meter bridge wire in middle we are connecting a galvanometer which is connecting point d and c without the galvanometer dc is like an ordinary wire now whenever current flows through the cell the current is divided into various arms of the wheatstone bridge now if you adjust the length l on the meter bridge in such a way that the potential difference at d becomes same as potential difference at c what will happen if the potential is same at point d and c low current will flow exactly if the potential is same and there is no potential difference there will be no current in the arm dc and obviously the galvanometer will show us no deflection or zero current now now students you can see on the table the assembly of the meter bridge experiment now let me introduce to all the components which are being attached in the circuit now i'll be starting with the cell now this will provide the voltage throughout the circuit you can see that through an ordinary connecting wire we have connected this cell to one end of the meter bridge through the same end you can see there's a resistance box which is connected now it shows us various values of resistances that can be connected one by one for various readings this will act like resistance r as is being discussed in your diagram now the other end of this resistance box is connected to another screw on the meter bridge you will be able to see this wire of the meter bridge which runs along a scale with having a length of 1 meter that is 100 cm coming to the next component you can see a galvanometer whose one end is connected at the middle of the meter bridge the next end shows a plain wire which is unconnected while we will be taking the readings i'll be connecting this end of the galvanometer wire which will be acting like a jockey to the main meter bridge wire coming to the next part you can see that the unknown resistance x has been connected on the other side of the meter bridge the other end of this unknown resistance is connected to a one way key k it is unconnected right now as the circuit is not working and we end up the whole circuit at the other terminal of the battery now in order to take the readings we first of all include this switch inside the one way key as soon as i put on the key current starts flowing in the circuit now in order to get a null point that is to balance the two resistances i will use this end of the wire which is acting like a jockey and i'll try to make the contact of this wire with the meter bridge wire which can be seen in silver color along the whole length of the bridge now if i consider this end to be the reference level i'll be connecting the jockey to the meter bridge wire now very clearly just hold it 
you are able to see a large reflection in the galvanometer. You can very well see the needle has come to one end of the galvanometer which is a very large reflection. It means at that end I have not received the null deflection. So trying to balance the bridge again, we will be moving this jockey towards the middle part of the bridge wire. Now as we are moving, we can constantly see that there is a deflection in the galvanometer. Excuse me, why is there deflection in the galvanometer? See, the galvanometer will show you deflection till there is some current in this wire, which is crossing the center part of the bridge. Still, the deflection is continuing. Now roughly, in this area I can see that the bridge is quite balanced. So now I make the movement slightly slower. Now Geeta, will you read the reading on the meter scale when I ask you to? So now what is the reading? Uh, zero is yet to come. So what is the reading now? 51. It means at 51 centimeters taken from this end, we are able to receive the null point. If this length I have taken to be 51, obviously the other remaining length of the meter bridge will be 100 minus 51, that is 49 centimeters. This reading is valid for this particular resistance that we had taken out from the resistance box. You can clearly see resistance 2 ohm had been taken out from this resistance box which gave us the null deflection. Now in the next part of the reading, I will be taking out some other resistance, let us say 3 ohms and then we will try to balance the bridge and obtain another value for length L. Now here I connect the next resistance, key being in, the current has been set up in the wire. Repeating the same procedure, taking the jockey to the other end, now always remember this jockey should have a constant touch with the meter bridge wire. Now you can clearly see. There is still deflection in the galvanometer. Now, we are almost at the null deflection point. Read the length. 68.5. So the length comes out to be 68.5. The remaining length will give us 100 minus L. After taking the readings, make it a habit to remove this plug from the key in order to avoid the unnecessary heating. Following the same procedure, you can take out some other resistance of your choice from this resistance box. And the remaining procedure for calculating the value of unknown resistance shall remain same, that is by the null deflection method. Now, the readings that we have just now taken of length and the resistances have been tabulated in this table. You can see I have resistance R shown here, which we were taking out from the resistance box. This is length L that we were trying to balance out the remaining length 100 minus L and finally through the formula we can calculate the unknown resistance. The formula used is again the same length multiplied by the known resistance divided by 100 minus L which will give us the following value of resistance X. At the end you can average out to get the most suited value of the unknown resistance X. 
like we've got 2.03 ohms in our case. So we conclude with this experiment on finding out the value of resistance x.